Lepospondyli is a diverse taxon of Paleozoic tetrapods. It, along with its presumed daughter Cladlis amphibia and amphibia proper, are the primary taxa that make up the vertebrate group Batricomorpha, with the exception of one late surviving Lepospondyl from the late Permian of Morocco. Lepospondyls lived from the early Carboniferous to the early Permian and was geographically restricted to what is now Europe and North America. Five major groups of Lepospondyls are known Adlospondyli, Astopida, Lysorophia, Microsauria, and Nectridia. Lepospondyls have a diverse range of body forms and include species with newt like, healer snake like, and lizard like forms. Various species were aquatic, semi aquatic, or terrestrial. None were large, and they are assumed to have lived in specialized ecological niches not taken by the more numerous temnospondyl amphibians that coexisted with them. In the Paleozoic, Lepospondyli was named in 1888 by Carl Alfred von Zittel who coined the name to include some tetrapods from the Paleozoic that shared some specific characteristics in the notochord and teeth. Description. All Lepospondyls are characterized by having simple, spool-shaped vertebrae that did not ossify from cartilage, but rather grew as bony cylinders around the notochord. In addition, the upper portion of the vertebra, the neural arch, is usually fused to the centrum. Classification. The position of the Lepospondyli within the tetrapoda is uncertain because the earliest Lepospondyls were already highly specialized when they first appeared in the fossil record. Some Lepospondyls were once thought to be related or perhaps ancestral to modern salamanders, but not the other modern amphibians. This view is no longer held and all modern amphibians are now grouped within the Cladlis amphibia. For a long time, the Lepospondyli were considered one of the three sub Classes of amphibia, along with the Lysamphibia and the Labyrinthodontia. Lepospondyls are now thought to be related or ancestral to modern amphibians or to Amniota. Another hypothesis is that they are an artificial grouping with some members closely related to extinct stem tetrapod groups and others more closely related to modern amphibians. Interrelationships Five main groups of Lepospondyls are often recognized. Microsauria, a superficially lizard or salamander lichen species rich group, Lysorophia, a group with elongated bodies and very small limbs, Astopida, a group of limbless, extremely elongated snake like forms, Adlospondyli, a group of presumably aquatic forms that resemble astopods but have more solidly built skulls, and Nectridia, another diverse group that includes terrestrial terrestrial and aquatic newt-like forms. Microsauria is currently considered paraphyletic, rather than being a monophyletic group. It probably represents an evolutionary grade of basal Lepospondyls. Nectridia is probably also paraphyletic, consisting of a range of more derived Lepospondyls. The name Holospondyli has been proposed for a clade including Astopods, Nectridians, and possibly Adlospondyls. Although not all recent phylogenetic analyses support the grouping, the following cladogram, simplified, is after after an analysis of stem amniotes presented by Ruta al. In 2003, position within Tetrapoda, the Lepospondyl hypothesis of modern amphibian origins proposes that Lysamphibians are monophyletic and that they evolved from Lepospondyl ancestors. Two alternatives of the Temnospondyl hypothesis, in which Lysamphibians originated within Temnospondyli, and the Polyphyly hypothesis, in which Cecilians originated 
descended from lepospondyls and frogs and salamanders evolved from temnospondyls. Of the three hypotheses, the temnospondyl hypothesis is currently the most widely accepted among researchers. Strong support for this relationship comes from a suite of anatomical features shared between lys amphibians and a group of Paleozoic temnospondyls, called dysorophoids. Under this hypothesis Lepospondyli falls outside crown group Tetrapoda and is instead part of the tetrapod stem. However, some phylogenetic analyses continue to find support for the Lepospondyl hypothesis. The analysis of Valen and Lauren found Lys amphibians to be most closely related to Lysorophians, followed by Microsaurs. Pauli also found Lysorophians to be the closest relatives of Lys amphibians, but found astopods and adelogerinids rather than microsaurs to be the second most closely related groups. Marjanovic found holospondyls to be the most closely related group to Lys amphibians, followed by Lysorophians. Under this hypothesis, lepospondyls would be crown tetrapods and temnospondyls would be stem tetrapods. Below is a cladogram from Ruta al. that supports the temnospondyl hypothesis showing the position of lepospondyli within crown group tetrapoda.